The Mandalorian Chapter 14, aptly dubbed The Tragedy, finds the Mandalorian fulfill his quest and take Grogu to Tython in hopes a Jedi will come and pick up the child. However, a Jedi doesn't come. Something far more dangerous does. Robert Rodriguez stepped in to direct this episode and boy, what an episode it was. Especially for an episode that I figure many people probably would have written off as a filler or another sort of fetch quest being it was only about 30 minutes long. However, this episode was filled with gunfights upon gunfights, stormtroopers getting utterly decimated, shocking twists and turns, and of course, some fantastic plot progress. Aggression. The big reveal this episode was obviously Boba Fett's return, as the former bounty hunter tracked Mando to Tython and actually confronts him with his new partner Fennec Shand, who Fett rescued in the Tatooine Waste and turned into a cyborg who is now in his debt. What I found really quite interesting was this isn't the edgy, silent killer everyone and their dog seems to love from the original trilogy. This is a new Boba Fett and this Boba is fine with teaming up with others and is actually quite a reasonable fellow. So so much in fact that he and Fennec end up teaming with Mando to help defend the child from the Empire. I thoroughly enjoyed this new look and feel for Bobber as well. He's actually got some character development going on as well as a brilliant new look which thanks to Tamora Morrison reprising his role here is actually Maori inspired and one I hope sticks around. I really like the heavy sand cloak and Gaddafi stick look he had. The episode also gives us a definitive answer to if the Fets were true Mandalorian and the short answer is no. Django was, much like Din Djarin, a foundling, so while he is a Mandalorian, he isn't a pure-blooded one like, say, Bo-Katan is. However, this still means that Boba and Django have a legitimate claim to the Mandalorian armor. The child also takes a little bit of a backseat this episode as he actually ends up connecting to the Force and is sealed away in a Force Field type device for most of the episode. A device that actually reminds me of the structures seen in the Fallen Order video game on Zepho. I was kind of hoping that we'd see maybe what the child was in contact with, maybe someone else through the Force, but I'm betting that was left as ambiguous as it was since that will most likely be like an end of season teaser going into the third season. As mentioned before, this episode has some really wonderful action set pieces, one in particular featuring Boba going absolutely apeshit with a Gaddafi stick, which was really something to see and something I've really noticed through the Disney era of these Star Wars films is that whenever someone goes into hand-to-hand -hand combat with a stormtrooper or a trooper in general, uh, the trooper's armor just disintegrates and we get some great shots in this episode of him just obliterating the armor with his Gaddafi stick and blaster. The dark troopers hinted at two episodes before were also fully revealed here in all of their glory as they managed to actually kidnap the child, hence why the episode is called The Tragedy. And not only that, they completely destroy the Razor Crest, leaving our hero without a ship. The ending with Gideon getting what he wanted definitely takes the show in an even more interesting direction and giving that Fett, Shand and even Cara Dune and the hint at Bill Burr's Mayfield character returning has me thinking that we're in for one hell of a final two episodes but where the show will go from there I have no idea but I'm absolutely here for it. I'm going to give The Mandalorian Chapter 14 a 10 out of 10.